What's up, guys? So, back, work on the boat. I've been experimenting a bit, and I've been, do I've been doing a lot of work off camera. No big deal. But something, well, I'm gonna show you guys what I've done and what I have done after the intro. <laughs> Too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it on record off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin' on record off record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote on record off record. I still want the act. So, come to the of the boat this so it would have some support on the plywood that we're gonna put down the yeah. cobweb so yeah it's right up to the lip there it's flush and then well I kind of noticed that if you look closely fiberglass on the seats busted so I put down another piece of wood for the seat apparently that the guy never used wrong screws I thought that he did I took the first board off well there's wood underneath but yeah it busted because he never put it on a board so yeah First thing is, I measured this, I never put this in yet. So, back, it's gonna be the back deck. Maybe, not sure. I guess we can put that in right now. Trusty time lapse, don't. what it looks like. You just follow me to the back of the boat. This is just a test. Like, look, I can stand on it and it's sturdy, but I might just keep this one, but for now it's just a test. Like, look, I'm stepping on it, standing, nothing. Yeah, it's sturdy, but not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way. Just for whoever's in the back or whatever. That's why it's floor. And what I'm gonna use those, like little holes for. I'm gonna use them. Whoa. Can you guys even. Yeah, no. There's like a little metal piece right there. I'm gonna be, use that for a rod holder. I'm gonna put that in right now. So, right here. Can't really see it. That's, a, that's my new rod holder. Use the old copper pipe, shoved it down in there, and I screwed this on. And let's test this out. This is gonna stay around nine o'clock. Gonna go ahead down to pick up the motor. Um, the guy that I'm buying it from has a cabin near our place, and he hauled it down. We got the money, and we're going right now. Full start and electric. 
looks so seven and a half horse sort of looks like it might be a two stroke because it's kind of a smaller engine ah! Ah! who made it who made it there first me oh. why yeah definitely looks like a two stroke yeah. not sure he said it was a four hear it because only three people so yeah this is what i was going to show you guys Oh, Dad, that was you. See, it works. It's been on for a long time. So, bingo. Do you still video? So, I just got home. Now I'm going to see if I can get the motor on. This is going to be kind of hard. It's like, what is it? 115 pounds? Oh, this is going to be a tough one. So, got the motor mounted up. It's not because of those clamps right there. It's sturdy, I guess. Well, we're going to figure that out tomorrow. So, yeah. It's four stroke at first. We thought it was two stroke. So, it should be just fine. All right, she runs. She definitely runs. Let's go. And we are zooming though. That was about 10 ish. Wow. <laughs> Now we gotta drain all the water on the boat. Oh, got it.
blood sucker. Where? Over here. See it on the back of here? Where? Right there. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna clean the boat out. I'm gonna take everything out. I'm gonna vacuum it, and then I'm gonna put it in the garage. I don't. I guess that might just be it. I'm just gonna start doing this all on camera, and then I'm gonna do a time lapse because I don't have too much time left. And also at the same time, I want to take up time. So, all right. I'm planning to do for the inside. The reason why I'm doing this right now is so I can rattle can it. Alright, time lapse. She's mainly just completely cleaned out. Looks just better than when I got it, definitely. Ugh. It was filthy when I first got it. It's basically clean. It's basically it's stained quite a bit. Definitely stained. What I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of rattle canning it. Unless it's like, unless where I'm gonna put the deck. It's just only where I'm not going to put the deck, I'm going to spray paint it gray on the inside. I think it'll be just fine. Now I'm going to put black, I mean, like a darker, like a really dark gray on the, for carpet. And that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one.